Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. So as you've seen in the title, today we are going to compare two eyebrow products. We're going to compare the Anastasia Brow Freeze with the NYX Brow Glue. So the main difference between the two is that the Anastasia Brow Freeze is more like a pomade, like a clear pomade. And the NYX Brow Glue is more of like a liquid brow setting gel. So nowadays, bushy brows are such a trend. So I really love experimenting with a lot of brow products to have that bushy brow look. So, so I've used these two products yesterday, but my mic, I don't know what's wrong with my mic, so I have to refilm this. But when I tried this on, I put the Anastasia Brow Freeze on my right side, and then I use this NYX Brow Glue on my left side. So on the Anastasia side, I just used a regular spoolie and then I put the excess product on the back of my hand. I then spread it on my brow section by section and I used the end tip of the spoolie to lay my brows flat onto my skin. And then I just repeat this step onto the rest of my brows. So I brush it section by section and when all my brows are up, I press my fingers on my brows and fix the edges. I'm loving the look of it and application was so easy. On my left side, I use the NYX Brow Glue. I didn't use another spoolie for application because it has a spoolie. And I like the small spoolie because you only need a little product to get the results. So a little product goes a long way. But I had to use my NYX Brow Pencil spoolie after to style my brows. And I have to go back and forth with applying with the spoolie and then styling my brows with the NYX Pencil spoolie. Because the small spoolie, you can't really style your brows well because it's really small. So it's just good for application. So I spent a little more time styling my brows using this product compared to the Anastasia Brow Freeze. So this is the NYX Brow Glue side. And here's the Anastasia Brow Freeze side. So here are some differences that I find with these two products. So with application, I prefer the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I think that it was just easy to maneuver my brows with this because my brow still feels really soft. So I can really still mold it even if like minutes passed. With the NYX Brow Glue, since it's more like a gel, it was harder to maneuver my brow, especially when it sets. And it can easily set because it's more like a gel, like a hair gel, right? So when it sets, it's just harder to maneuver it. And I don't know why, but some parts of my brows curled. So it didn't go straight, but it kind of curled. Only the fine hairs on my brows, like on the tips of my brows, it got curly instead of straight. So that's my main complaint when it comes to application with the NYX Brow Glue. When it comes to finish, I also like the Anastasia Brow Freeze more than the NYX Brow Glue because it has that matte finish. And with the NYX Brow Glue, my brows look shiny. Again, I'm going to compare this with the hair gel. Like, you know when you set your hair with a hair gel? And that's how the NYX Brow Glue set on my brows. It looks kind of glossy and red. When it comes to molding my eyebrows upwards and giving me that bushy brow effect, both of this really perform very well. And I'm used to doing that bushy brow with soap. And there's a lot of little technicalities when using soap. But, but with this too, you can easily maneuver your brows upwards. 
And if you like the effect where the brows is really sticking on your skin, so it's really upwards, and both of them can do that. So when it comes to achieving that bushy brows, both of these brow products can really give you that look. Now let's go with the price. The Anastasia Brow Freeze is $30 for 8 grams, and the NYX Brow Glue is only $10 but only five grams. So this is three grams more for three times more the price, and this is only $10. So when it comes to price, the NYX Brow Glue wins. Now, I wore these two products on my brows for six hours, and I find that both of them really performed well. I like that both of my brows were staying up the whole six hours, especially like the front part because I really like this front part up so that I've really achieved that bushy brow look and with both sides both of my brows stayed up really well for the full six hours and I also like that I can still brush through my brows even on the six hour I can still brush it off and my brows wouldn't go down because usually my brows goes down especially on this part with these two products on even if I brush it and I brush it up it really stayed up so if your brows move or you touch it or anything you can easily touch up even after application so I like that with both of the products so if you're going to ask me to choose just one between the two products I really prefer the Anastasia brow fees better Number one, it looks more natural on my brows and I like that it's actually soft on my brows. And you know how you use a brow gel and then after it sets, it really feels hard after? You wouldn't have that effect with the Anastasia Brow Freeze. It just looks very natural on my brows so I like this better. But if you don't have an unruly eyebrows and you just want to set your eyebrows so that it looks a certain way, for six hours the next brow glue is a good buy it really performed well but the only thing is i have unruly brows so like i really have to maneuver my brows so for me i have to have a product that wouldn't set easily and would look more natural on me it really just boils down to your preference like how you would like your brows to look like don't mind it being a little glossy if you prefer it more matte, if you prefer it more natural. So again, it just boils down to preference because if your only main goal is to have bushy brows and you just want to set your eyebrows, both of this eyebrow product did really well. So that's it. Thank you so, so much Charles, for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to click that notification so you'll always be updated once a new video is up and don't forget to subscribe thank you so so much again for watching i'll see you on my next one